what's up everybody welcome back to the channel hey like i said before i got your back at the pay-per-view just in case triple h or randy orton try to get involved again hey i really appreciate that you've been such a big help which is i hate to ask for another favor but would you be willing to show me the calf crusher i don't know man that's kind of my thing you know can't be giving out all my secrets just in case we have to face each other again someday Look, I need help if I'm going to beat Cena in this submission match. I mean, I'll get down on my knees and beg if no, I have to. No, I don't. To. Get up. Oh, my. Stand up. I'll show it to you. Awesome. I owe you one. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll settle up at some point. I don't know about that. But what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is yours truly, Vinny June. All right, so we got ourselves a submission match against chad gable so we can get our practice on and be ready for cena at SummerSlam. i tell you what though chad gable better not embarrass us okay because listen i'm just trying to get a little warm up i don't need to be getting beat out there before cena cena like he can't even beat chad gable how you go beat me <sighs> we gotta make this happen we gotta make this work people This is going to be the biggest match of my career. Look at your boy. Look at your boy. Making his way to the ring from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 250 pounds, Vincent Blaze. And Blaze is feeling fired up. He is ready for an opportunity to take on John Cena at SummerSlam. <clears throat> this is going to be a huge match, but tonight we got to take on Chad Gabion. From Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. Look at Chad Gable, a.k.a. Baby Kurt Kurt. Because he definitely like baby Kurt Angle. <laughs> so we got to take him on. This is serious. You know what I'm saying? I'm focused coach. That's all I'm saying. I'm focused coach. I hope John not watching. Because <laughs> if we lose, I do not need him to know that went down. Let's make it happen. Vincent Blaze, Chad Gable, the ref ringing the bell. This match underway, laying them hands on his face. Chad Gable, you have found yourself in the most terrible position you could tonight. You go wish you was in catering when it's over. And look at Blaze. Quick suplex. And he is fired up. He wants John Cena to know, no, I'm not Randy Orton. No, I'm not uh, Edge. I'm not CM Punk. I am not Brock Lesnar. I'm not AJ Styles. I'm not nobody you used to. I'm a whole nother being. Okay. This guy doing all these tricks. <laughs> he needs to sit down. Look at the skills. This man is a pure athlete. A pure talent. And Blaze. Scooping that man up like a fresh whip of ice cream. And Chad Gable trying to get him some offense here. Whoa, what is this? We got to get out of this. He trying to make us tap extra early. No, sir. Look at the, oh, I thought I was about to get the, the quick win in the pin. Oh, knee to the face by Blaze. And Blaze has been busting out some new moves ever since he's gotten back from Japan. And look at this. Chad Gable trying to go after the legs. Break down the legs. It's not enough right now. Whoa. What? Did we just hit a rodeo festus? What is this man? A festival? I don't know what a festus is. Oh, good move by Blaze. And Blaze dropping that knee down on the chest of Chad Gable. What an opportunity 
this would be for Chad Gable if he had the opportunity to beat the man who's going toe to toe with Cena at SummerSlam. You, Chad Gable might take his place if he can win this. Blaze fighting out of the arm lock here. Chad Gable with the reversal. Chad Gable showing himself to be one of the few talented pure mat wrestlers in this business. And both men taunting each other. Chad Gable out the ring, back in the ring. Oh, a nice move there. Good way to fake out the talent. And now Blaze, look at this, throwing that man. And look at the skills. I mean, he does it so easy. Wait a minute. Blaze has it fired up. The Infinity Punch is on deck. Oh, Chad Gable, Infinity Punch. That man is seeing stars right now. He thought he was in the ring with Thanos for two seconds. Blaze going right after Gable. And Blaze calling out to all his fans. And I think they all know that Blaze, the undisputed future, is ready for John Cena. Oh, nice reversal there by Chad Gable. Again, going after the legs. Another attack to the legs. And Gable trying to get himself back in this match. Oh, nice reversal there. And Blaze trying to say, look at that. No four count. No such thing as a four count. And he is saying it is over. He's about to eliminate Chad Gable for good. But Chad Gable... Belly to belly. Nice move. And now look at this. Oh, dropping that man's face right into the ropes. And Blaze is so focused. His mind only on Chad Gable tonight. But you know, somewhere in the back of his mind, he has to be thinking. If John Cena's watching it, can he get Chad Gable to tap out? Can he get him to tap out right here tonight? He is wrenching that neck. Chad Gable fighting. Chad Gable hanging on. Chad Gable resisting the submission. Blaze has it locked in so tight. My goodness. My goodness, what a battle here. And Chad Gable finds a way. And now look at this. Putting his own submission in. And look at this. He gets. He makes Vincent Blaze tap out. Oh my goodness. Chad Gable returning the favor. You tapped me, I'ma tap you, sir. Oh, and look at this. Chad. Easy work for Chad Gable. And Blaze probably unsure of if he can pull out a victory against John Cena. What a shocking win for Chad Gable. I'm be honest, I am pissed. <laughs> I am I am pissed. How did this happen? How did we let Chad Gable beat us like this? Literally, he got out our submission, threw us in one, and put us away. This is terrible. Let's go to SummerSlam. Cause I'm tired of uh looking bad. Jesus, I hope John didn't watch this. He probably did. Oh, here we go, people. Here we go. The big enchilada. John Cena versus Vincent Blaze. And look at this. We got AJ Styles in our corner. We cannot afford to lose on the biggest stage of them all. Well, not the biggest stage of them all. That's WrestleMania. <laughs> the second biggest. 
Actually, I think that's the Royal Rumble. Never mind. SummerSlam. Never give up. Put your towel away. No one cares about that. Never give up. Yeah, whatever. Look at him. Uh, salute the people. Get out of here. Rakishi. I did it for the rock. I did it for the people. I did it. Uh, whatever. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be a huge match, guys. SummerSlam John Cena. You know how many people didn't beat John Cena at SummerSlam? Take one hand. And that's how many people? Somewhere around less than five. <laughs> I don't know the exact number, but it's not a lot. Oh, my. Oh, my. The great John Cena prepared to put us in a STFU submission. And I don't even know if we have a submission move, like a permanent one. I don't, not really sure. The whole neck wrenching thing is the best that I think we got. So we are in major trouble right now. This man biceps is as oily as a frying pan full of chicken. This is about to be intense, people. But nevertheless, we don't lose confidence around here. Not when AJ Styles is backing us up, ladies and gentlemen. Accompanied by the phenomenal AJ Styles from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 250 pounds. Vincent Blaze. You heard it, people. JoJo couldn't say it no better. Vincent Blaze, the man with an infinite amount of plans. He is ready tonight. Now, he may have lost to Chad Gable, but we're going to leave that alone. That was last week. You want to talk about tonight or you want to talk about last week? Let's talk about tonight. Vincent Blaze is focused and ready for John Cena. John Cena's not going to tap us out. I don't care what nobody thinks. Because this right here is a defining moment in our career. And we can't accept a loss. Let's make it happen, people. John Cena. Vincent Blaze. The ref. Ringing the bell. Let's jump to it. Oh, yeah. Give him the knee. Start off with the knee. We gotta, we gotta kind of break John Cena down. We gotta, we gotta have a game plan this time. We gotta kind of break him down, wear him down, and then go straight for the submission. That's right. Let's choke him out. You know how it is. And look at Blaze, aggressive tonight. John Cena, not even sure what he has gotten himself into. We got AJ Styles in our corner, the phenomenal one. AJ, stop him. AJ, stop him. AJ, stop him. Stop him, AJ. Blaze back in the ring. Tricking Cena. Blaze, whoa. Cena, what a big clothesline. Not ready for that. Not ready. Oh, Blaze with a knee out of nowhere. John probably trying to make sure his chin is still attached to his face. And look at this. Look at this. The ankle lock put on John. John reversing it to an STFU. What is this? Help. The Triple H. What is he trying to? He is trying to straight. Oh, look at this. AJ Styles is turned up tonight. Oh my goodness, thank you, AJ. Oh my god, it did nothing for me in the ring right now. There we go. Triple H literally just tried to Montreal screw job me. Thank you, AJ. Oh my goodness, but it I really could use AJ to do something else because I am not really feeling this match. <laughs> I am not doing too well. Cena dropping a big fist to my jaw.
And Blaze in trouble. He is not looking as strong as he thought he would. And now look at Cena with another submission. Blaze doing everything he can to stay in this matchup. And Blaze trying to get his head in the game. Trying to make a comeback. Trying to turn things around. Super kick. Oh, and look at this. Blaze finding the power. Bang. Infinity punch. And Cena rolls out the ring like the smart man he is. But it's not enough. Because Blaze has one more infinity punch in his pocket and he uses it and the ref count in the three blaze getting cena back in the ring and those infinity punches just may have been what he needed and look at this using aj styles calf crusher and cena taps cena taps Oh my goodness, why is Ruby Riot Sting on the ring? I don't know. But Vincent Blaze is victorious. What is happening? The Kurt Angle, he won a match? Despite Triple H's best efforts to impede your progress, you have accomplished amazing things on SmackDown. Thank you. I've been so impressed that I think the Raw audience also deserves to see what all the buzz is about. What? Did I just get traded? And that's why I've negotiated with Daniel Bryan. And we were able to agree on a special one-time trade. Whoa. Sending you to Raw immediately. Wait a minute, Daniel Bryan, sir. Did I even get a choice? Oh, it's true. It's damn true. Well, you heard it from Kurt Angle. Blaze is headed to Raw after defeating John Cena. What an opportunity. What a shocking trade. Wow. Well, some, our days on SmackDown are officially over, people. All right, here we are. Go to Raw. What a way to show up and show out. There he is. Raw's newest superstar. I was impressed with what you were able to accomplish on SmackDown in such a short amount of time. Kind of reminds me of, well, me. Well, thanks, Kurt. I hope there are no hard feelings that I didn't initially sign with you. None whatsoever. We're just lucky to have you here on Raw now. So what's your plan tonight? Going to sit back and get a feel for things? Uh, I didn't get here by sitting back and waiting for something to happen. No, I guess not. You'll be seeing me out there sooner than you think, and in a very big way. What does that mean? What does Blaze have in store tonight, people? We are gathered here tonight for a very special occasion. To celebrate a milestone that only the most successful television programs reach. That's right. This is the 100th episode of Ms. TV. When my hand goes up, your mouth goes shut. Show some respect for the moment in history you are witnessing. Do you know the kind of blood, sweat, and tears that go into making a production like this week in and week out? No, you don't. Because you've never made one episode of anything, let alone 100 now. In honor of this achievement, I put together a special documentary recapping the series' greatest moments that I'd like all of you to watch for the next 10 minutes. Please, turn off your cellular devices and enjoy the show.
What the hell do you think you're doing interrupting my 100th episode celebration? Answer me, damn it! Ladies and gentlemen, Elias. Hello, I am Elias. I've got one question for everyone here tonight. Who wants to walk with Elias? Now, last week we had a newcomer arrive on the scene and challenge The Miz. He quickly learned that in WWE, if you mess with the bull, you get the horns. And when I say WWE, I am referring to the WWE that stands for Walk with Elias. We got a new guy here named Buzz, who got beat down by The Miz. If you ask me, it's only a matter of time before he's out of the biz. He drives around in an old crappy van like a homeless man. He reminds Elias a lot of all you dirt poor fans. Okay, I think I speak for everyone here when I say we've heard just about enough. You know when sometimes you hear a singer at a concert and their voice just isn't quite the same? I mean, that's not the case with you, Elias. You sound just as terrible in person as you do on TV. I mean, I just realized, I don't think WWE stands for Walk with Elias. No, I think it actually stands for We Want Earplugs. You talk a good game, but can you back it up? <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, I can. And since apparently The Miz is too much of a coward to face me. How about you and I go one-on-one -on -one right here tonight? Sure thing, new guy.
making his way to the ring from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 250 pounds, Vincent Blaze.
One, two, three. Thank <laughs> you.